quadrant inequalities of the triangle deleted by cbsc for this corresponding year because of the present situation so we are doing today extra questions only the first question in the figure ab equal to ef bc equal to de then ab perpendicular to bd fe perpendicular to ce prove that triangle abd is congruent to triangle fec so this is the question this is extra question only so already we have learned the procedure how to write the steps so directly i am writing given to prove already written in the part directly i'll go for the proof only so whatever given in the question just copied now proof okay which are the triangle it is told in triangle abd and triangle fec now you compare what are the equal sides is given ab equal to ef so i can mark here ab equal to ef bc equal to de so this is the second equal side bc equal to de next angle ab perpendicular to bd so this is 90 degree similarly here also 90 degree only right but here we want abd only abd we are having one equal side one right angle but we want the second side means we should get the length of bd right but what we got only we got bc only and similarly if you go for fec the first equal side and the one angle it is marked here and here the second side means it is de only they had given the idea but if the second side of this triangle means fec means it should be ec so what should be added for getting ec cd should be added similarly for this bd we required for getting bd cd should be added so what is given in the question here it is given in the question means bc equal to de is given bc equal to de if you are considering it is not the part of the given triangle so i am adding the equal part cd on both the side right so what is the total length of bc and cd it is equal to bd similarly ed plus cd we are adding what is the result here ec so this is equation number one we are adding equals on the uh, both the sides so we got bd equal to ec by this property now i'll go for the proof in triangle abd and fec the first equal side is AB equal to FE given. Okay. Next, what is the 90 degree? Angle B is equal to angle E equal to 90 degree. That is also given. So, we got one angle and one side. For getting one more side, what we had done? We added equals on the both the sides. So, the result is BD equal to CEC. Okay, so proved in one. By this, what we are getting, uh, we got a 190 degree angle criteria, but we are not getting the hypotenuse. There. So, RHS criteria is not applicable. Here, the first equal side, the second equal side by adding this one, and we got the included angle 90 degree. So, what we can write now, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle FEC by SAS criteria. Hence proved. Clear? So we are not having the equal side. We added the equal side CD on both the side for making BD as well as CE of the second equal side. So this is the criteria we should write. By this we are getting triangle ABD congruent to triangle FEC by SAS criteria. Hence proved. I repeat in triangle ABD and triangle FEC first equal side and this sec uh, second equal uh, angle only we are taking angle b equal to angle a 90 degree for getting the second equal side we have added cd so we got bd equal to ec so first side and the second side now the angle we should check whether it is included it is an included angle so triangle abd congruent to triangle fec sas criteria hence proved second question it is given that ab equal to cf ab equal to cf means this is the uh, equal side and cf means up to here next ef equal to bd so ef i will mark ef equal to bd 
next angle AFE means angle here and here also angle now we have to prove that a triangle AFE AFE means the side length should be AF right so but we are given that AB only the equal part to CF so we need the second equal side means the length should be AF so what is the common equal side BF if we are adding AB plus BF we will get AF similarly CF plus BF if we add we will get a CB so we will write the proof as okay the first I will uh, add the equal sides only so AB equal to CF it is given right so with AB we are adding BF if we are adding something to the LHS we have to add the RHS also CF to be added with the BF so what is the result now AB plus BF equal to AF and CF plus BF equal to BC okay I'll make it equation number one and now you check AF be the second side of the triangle and BC is also second side of the triangle DBC respectively so now we got this side now the triangle we can write it clearly triangle AF E and triangle C B D what will take uh, the first equal side there is no confusion for that one E F equal to uh, A E F equal to B D given next next equal side by this we can get that E F equal to B D we written second equal side by proof we got A F equal to B C okay so the second equal side we got now the angle we are getting in AFE angle F equal to angle B so this is proved in one and this is given now we can write triangle AFE congruent to triangle CBD let us check the criteria once again EF is the first equal side and AF is the second equal side now this is meeting at which angle angle F so the F is the included angle so by this criteria which criteria two sides and the included angle SA is criteria these two triangles are congruent so what we have done here first they had given in the question just AB and CF only for making the side of the triangle we added the equal portion of BF on both the sides so we are getting AF equal to BC now in triangle AF triangle CBD we have we can write EF equal to BD given AF equal to BC proved in one angle F equal to angle B that is also given in the question so two sides one included angle we got therefore triangle AFE congruent to triangle CBD SAS criteria hence proved PQR is, is it PQR is a triangle in which PQ equal to PR so we'll mark this PQ equal to PR S is any point on the side PQ through S a line is drawn parallel to QR and intersecting PR at T prove that PS equal to PT we have to get this only equal side right so here what we have to do means given uh, PQ equal to PR to prove PS equal to ST now already given that ST parallel to QR okay now proof if ST parallel to QR what we can write corresponding angles are equal see angle s equal to angle q and also angle t is equal to angle r right so st parallel to qr so what we can write means angle s equal to angle q similarly angle t is equal to angle r both are what is the reason corresponding angles okay and also in the question it is given that PQ equal to PR this implies angle R equal to angle Q right P 
PQ equal to Q or angle R equal to angle Q. So this if we consider R and Q are equal means what will meaning of this one S and T are also equal. So I will make it is 1, 2, 3. So the, here what is the reason uh, angle opposite to equal side. Okay, so using uh, 1, 2 and 3, we have angle Q is equal to angle R equal to angle S equal to angle T, right? Because Q and R equal means S and T also equal. So this implies, I'll write angle S equal to angle T we got. Now what is the opposite side for angle S and T? Angle S opposite side is PT. See, S is here. The side opposite to this is PT only. So PT equal to angle T is this. What is opposite side? PS. So PT equal to PS. So now the reason is side we are reached here. So side opposite to equal angle. Opposite to equal angle. And also what is the conclusion? Hence proved. I repeat in the question ST parallel to QR angle S equal to angle Q and angle T equal to angle R. What is the reason for this one? Corresponding angles. Now PQ equal to PR we got by this we can write the base angles are also equal. Now see we are in angle so the reason will be angles opposite to equal side. Now R and Q are equal means what about S and T? That is also equal to each other. If S and T are equal in which triangle? It should be in one triangle so it is in which triangle in triangle PSD I should mention here triangle PST angle S equal to angle T therefore PT equal to PS side opposite to equal angles so hence proved result the vertical angle of an isosceles triangle is 100 degree find its base angle so the diagram will take it as a ABC uh, and a vertical angle means which angle it is angle a only so i'll mark it as a hundred now if it is isosceles triangle the base angles are also equal suppose angle b is x means angle c is also x we have to find the value of the x only so what is given in the question the abc is an isosceles triangle to find angle B equal to angle C equal to X right now proof AB equal to AC implies angle B is equal to angle C is equal to X now what is the angle sum property here in triangle ABC 100 plus X plus X equal to 180 so 2x equal to 80 degree x equal to 40 degree that means each base angle equal to 40 hence we have find the values of angle b and c so with this we are winding up today's class some extra questions only we are done next class we will come with the some more extra questions thank you